skin as it ages? Bruce? Well, due to the effects of ultraviolet radiation on the skin, uh, you get a loss of um, elasticity in the skin, a loss of collagen fibres and elastin fibres, uh, and so you get de degradation of the texture, tone and, and tightness of the skin, uh, which is what we refer to as photo damage or sun damage. So when we talk about um, rejuvenating the skin, how does, how does laser work? What does it actually do? Well, the laser basically stimulates the body to repair the skin by forming new collagen fibres in the skin. Uh, and this is a process that uh, occurs by the laser uh, drilling little thermal injuries into the skin, which then the body attempts to repair by um, forming new collagen fibres around there, and that causes an a improvement in the texture, tone and tightness of the skin. Laser resurfacing is a process where we use a laser to remove the surface layers of the skin uh, so that the body rebuilds a new, smoother, um, younger looking surface to the skin. Laser resurfacing has been done for approximately 30 years now and in its uh, original forms the whole surface of the skin is burnt away with a laser. Uh, originally a CO2 laser but later on erbium lasers were used. Um, that process produces a very good result with a single treatment but because the whole of the skin surface has been removed uh, there is a long healing and downtime associated with it with um, approximately one to two weeks of weeping and scabbing followed by six to eight weeks of redness um, and because of this not many people uh, have uh, nowadays use f uh, full resurfacing because you're also removing the whole of the surface of the skin the potential for pigmentation or pigmentary side effects such as transitory hyperpigmentation and hypopigmentation is much greater modern lasers um, have, or, over the last five years or so people have fractionated laser, which means that rather than removing the whole surface of the skin in one go, the laser burns a series of dots or a pattern on the surface of the skin, and we remove somewhere between approximately 10 and 30 percent of the skin surface. Because of that, there are little islands of uh, normal skin in between each of the little laser burns, and they act as a reservoir of new cells to heal the little laser burns. So what this means is the healing time is reduced to approximately two days rather than two weeks, and the downtime is uh, reduced to approximately four to six days rather than four to six weeks. But because we've only burnt 10 to 30% of the skin surface, typically people need two to three treatments to get the same type of results that they could get with a single treatment of traditional resurfacing. The underlying aging process isn't altered in any way by anything we do. Uh, and so even though we're bringing the skin back somewhat from where it was before, it will continue to age. So normally I would say even though the results of the collagen production are a, a long-term process, that you're looking at probably uh, repeating the treatment again in, uh, several, uh, in several years time, I would think. Normally I'd be looking at a, a protocol of two to three treatments spaced approximately one to two months apart, and then reassessing the patient at the uh, probably 12 month mark to see if further treatment was necessary. But we'd be hoping that um, you get several years out of a course of treatments. You get improvement in, in texture, tone and tightness of the skin. Uh, the texture is improved because the pores are smaller and some of the um, damaged collagen and elastin fibres in the very surface of the skin are removed. You get an increase in, uh, improvement in tone in the skin uh, because some of the surface pigmentation is removed, um, increases in blood, uh, the vascularity of the surface of the skin is reduced and because of the formation of new collagen you get an increase in luster and reflectance from the skin uh, making it look younger. And you get an increase in tightness in the skin because the heat from the laser causes the collagen fibres to contract, which gives you an immediate tightening. You also remove a portion of the surface of the skin, uh, and so uh, like um, chopping holes through a sponge, that causes the skin to be able to contract a little and tighten up. And then because of the heating effect of the laser, you get formation of new collagen over a period of time, which also causes a tightening of the skin. So you get an improvement in tightness in the skin. Um, lasers, you can certainly, the, the advantage of fractionated laser though, is that you are leaving little islands of normal skin to act as reservoirs for the healing process. But still, um, particularly off the face in areas like the neck and the chest, um, the healing time is much slower than on the face. And so certainly um, you can get infection, which could possibly lead to scarring. But so far with fractionated lasers, that hasn't been such a problem and they've been found to be very safe.